Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Remick. Welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. The last two episodes we've been working on our villager farm iron golem thing, and this time we're hopefully going to bring it to an end. Now, um, if you weren't here for the end of the last episode and maybe you need a refresher, our current objective is to get these people in there, and then there, and then there, and then there. And then we need to put zombies in there after them, but something's telling me that, um, you know, just, just just a hunch, just a a minor hunch, if you will. I'm gonna make sure this track is repaired because I made this tear a bit of it up to make sure it would uh, would work and all that jazz. But no, there's something telling me um, that we're gonna spend the whole episode just trying to get the villagers across. Um, we have a little holding pen off them down here. Oh, I remember what I did with that. To be fair, smart move past me. Um, just stop them rolling back down. But um, yeah, the no, general thing. We a little, a little set up here, so we break this block, we can then come on down, and we can follow these people out. Now, there's only already one of them in the um, pre-existing thing, so if we were to just literally, um, if I can, um, this isn't happening, is it? I think I've soft locked myself, hold on. Okay, that, um, no, no you fucking, no you don't, no you don't, nuh-uh, 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 like you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Nuh-uh. In fact, I think this ladder's the thing stopping them from getting on. So if I can just gently, and I say very gently, because if I hit these... You are next. You are next. Get in. Get the fuck back in. <laughs> okay, this is this is already up to an amazing start, but no, the idea is, is if I can just destroy this ladder block ever so gently, that'll happen. Which is what we want, because then it forces these people to um actually leave. So if I can just do that, off they go. And you, good sir... Um, you're next. Uh, sun's going down, but I, th I have confidence in myself. A scary idea, I know. But, um, are you gonna roll back down? Or have I, have I, ske have I schemed and scomed enough? I have schemed and scomed successfully. So, as it stands, you three are now, like, friends. We only need three of them in here for it to work. So, go was actually. That kind of bangs. Uh, now... Oh, how are we gonna how are we gonna deal with this? Um I mean they've picked up to enough speed at this point. I'm just trying to figure out how we could possibly Yeah. Hmm. Because we need to reroute this obviously now to go to the next one over, which is here. Um so best thing to do is probably just regular rails. Um I assume having power stops them from rebounding. Um then again, doesn't seem like rebounding is much of an issue anymore? I don't know. Either way, um yeah, if you're wondering why we can only do two at a time, it's because uh, um, I don't have a third minecart. But yeah, no, that's just the general idea. You know, we hop in, we go, and we keep this open so long as it isn't night time, so we can literally just, literally you find the walk, you right click, and like, they're gone. You know, it's like, it's as simple as one, two, get out of here, please, and thank you. Look at that, I actually ended up rhyming. Holy mother. And that, can you, can, no, 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 this isn't how this is meant to work. Fine. Fine, we'll go again. We'll go again. What? Who? Okay, I was gonna say, if, if you picked up my minecart, you were on the list. But there he goes. Look at him go, we do a bit of this, they don't, and he's off. So this is two more. Literally just punch him in, and that is, that is it. So getting his villagers into this area. Um, I should probably explain how this works, because a, a lot of people are familiar with the old ways Minecraft works, and less so the new ones. Basically, the shout for this is that in doing this, this creates an artificial village, and we can then manipulate Iron Golem spawn logic within our artificial village to get them to spawn and go in the funnel. Um, so, uh, a good way of showing this is that that place is designed for optimizing iron golem farms, but even just having these guys in a pen with mobs that can spawn has generated iron golems, as you can see. Uh, we may need to take these guys out at some point. It's just it's just a thing that um, maybe, maybe has to be on the agenda at some point. Anyway, no, nope, you go that way, and then I have a, sp I have a special... No, 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 you, no, freedom, freedom is not... Freedom is not... Um, what we're intending here get back in and in fact, please please genuinely get the fuck back in. Oh what the f you Where are you going? There's there's nothing for oh There is something for you. I think it's I, I think I understand what he's cooking and also now I'm interested So <laughs> let's um, let's follow you Mona me. Where are you going? All right, you heading this way? What is your end goal? Right, 
Um, I need to secure my villagers, by the way. Only just realized that. Um, yeah, no, this this hole in the ground here, not anymore. Um, I built around it for um, something that we didn't even end up doing. And same deal here. So you guys get in there. I'm going to do a bit of this. And then, um, I'm surprised, you know, me waterboarding them hasn't woken them up. But, you know, you live and you learn. Um, and then I'm thinking we drop down here and we use the beds in here. Sleep and we pray that that villager has not been massacred and led any zombies back to their pen. Uh, okay, so that's, um, where was he? I think he's, get my bearings, he's like this way. Again, I gotta be, I gotta be clever with this. Come on, no, uh-uh. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out, me and you. Um, so you, hmm, I wonder what I can do with you within, you know, the Geneva Convention. Um, okay, so if I can get you to stand as a fuck still for all of two seconds and I put you on one of these, good, right, you're now my captive. Great, phenomenal. This this will severely boost um, production, maybe. So get get over, and then this is this is where this episode's going. Like hell, it is not without a fight. It is going this way. Um, so what we can do again? So this this counts like a launch pad into the final stage of the thing. What we can do? Just let's um, let's reroute this guy back towards where he should be. If that works for everyone. And then we just push them along, and then we construct the actual way away. And it's like, yeah, it's annoying you escape. So at the very least, you didn't escape escape. It was only like a, a temporary thing that we were able to immediately remedy and make sure we could never be replicated again. God, I just sound like a plantation owner, don't I? Anyway, no mistake. I am hungry, and hmm, 17 more. I think I think we can make the rest of that work. Um, we'll obviously do this. We can just put the rails directly over that to make it a bit more optimal. Um, hang on a sec. Right, this guy gets like a special treatment because apparently I'm an idiot. Um, can I? No, I should be able to place one underneath him. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, please? Please don't. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Um, obviously the entrance is designed to be this way and I just apparently entirely neglected that fact. But if we do this, yeah, no, we can make this. And if we was to just, I don't know, could say, do a bit of this, push you back on to do a little bit of that. And lo and behold, after way, way too much effort, we got one person in here. Now we just got it two more times. But, all things considered, this ain't too bad. Like, again, once these guys are in here, iron golems may start to spawn, like, very slowly, but they may start to spawn. This thing is technically operational, or we need a few zombies to make it run at max efficiency. Like, I think, genuinely, I have a good feeling about this. It, you know, it's like, hell yeah. I mean, I should have a good feeling, you know. Have have confidence in your creations and all that jazz, but I can, seriously, it's like, I'm sorry, the amount of body blocking going on here, you make me think I was playing DVD. Be gone. <laughs> you made me mention DVD in a Minecraft video, that's your punishment. You go, you go, you go to the farm. No, get the fuck in. I will, I will beat the shit out of you if you don't get in the minecart. God, I treat all my villagers equally. Well, not even equally, just, ju just well. <laughs> anyway, both of these people should now be making that cell nice and homie and yeah no we can just borrow some more rails from our original railway because so long as no one else dies it's not like we need it and i think oh i'm, I'm sorry i'm very sorry if the nine golem spawns and kills me i'll be slightly pissed um but that's that's literally these guys done so if we were to just do this it is literally a matter of just extend it a bit more and we are gucci o gucci um in fact we can probably take it one step further. Oh, that's devious, but I kind of like it. Okay, so we're going to load up two more people into the minecarts. There should be three villagers remaining. Maybe I brought extras? If I brought extras, I'll find that really funny. Um, so it's like, what, you're telling me you don't have confidence in yourself, past Naramek? God. Um, God. Uh, either way, oh god, okay, if we remove everything on here, it means we can get rid of this ugly looking bridge. You know, forget actually working on the farm for the remainder of the episode, we can just talk about 1.20 and finally remove that cursed thing. Okay, no, there's only two of you people, huh? Where is the other? Where is the fucking other person? Oh. Okay, nah uh nah -uh. Hang on a second, this works better. Be free, my child! That that worked? Yeah, no, I'm as surprised as you are for that. No, 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 ah, bye-bye, sweet prince. Anyway, um, so with the 
wonderful realization that we're a village down. Huh. We're gonna have to work around that. Fortunately, I've got eight more rails and like a few more. I think we can make this work. And also it means we can make him go on like one really long road trip into the thing. So let's just finish this first. Obviously this is always gonna be the priority. Um, so if we were to just, you yeah, know, we definitely need, I think definitely, just, just like maybe mild hunch. I think we maybe need a tiny bit more rail. Oh, we can just push them in. That works too. Uh, we just need to nab some more from um, like home and we are pretty much done as far as I'm concerned. This is guy one. Oh, sorry. This is guy two. It's like, how are you taking damage? It's like, I mean, look, it's not being shown as me causing it, so it's like, will I face the repercussions of this? Absolutely not. Uh, well, we just need one more guy, and we're free. Well, we're not free, but you know, we're, we're getting very close to being free. Um, those are two very different things, unfortunately. Although, oh, oh, do not mind if I do. Again, every little helps when it comes to this, and I'll take. I'll take that. Just gotta go push this down, and now we need to go put some more rails down, extract one more villager from our main villager storage, do a bit of cleanup, and next time should be the last time. Unless. I know. Well, some of you, some of you, I know some of you are dreading me saying the unless word, but we could, in theory, Take a break next episode from doing this. It's been three episodes back to back being productive, which is like, yeah, cool. But maybe sometimes you need to, uh, you need to break it up. So, um, have a, uh, we don't have enough power rails for this. I'm gonna have to push it manually. Oh boy. Um, that's really promising, um, for the survival of the rest of the people in there. Uh, but hey, you know, we'll, um, We'll make it up as we go along. Um, let's pop this down here. Let me just... All right, uh, you're the willing sacrifice. And we're gone. So, right, you don't dislike me. Great, if you did, I'd be dead already. Um, okay, so we can actually go about remedying the remainder of this. I'm not gonna do it yet, but if, if we need to, we can actually sabotage a bit of this. But this guy, push along. That means we can have our, our discussion about potentially having a break or, you know, dare I say, doing anything else. Um, yeah, no, we should go remedying it when we're literally replacing parts of it that we stripped out previously. Um, but, um, as some of you know, 1.20 is officially out for Minecraft. And with it comes new biomes and shit. Now, this happened in the previous hardcore thing where a major update um, came out and, well, it was, um, we updated to it. <laughs> Pretty much all, like, that, that's as far as it really goes. There was no, there was nothing major. It was just, we swapped to the new Nether update. Did we even have to go searching for that? Or did, had we not been to the Nether at that point? I can't remember, and it's my let's play. So that kind of tells you, um, how big of a deal it was for me. Um, that the Nether got an update until I realized it was kind of, kind of banging. Anyway, okay, yeah, okay. He's, he's, he's slowly approaching me. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, um, let's try and, okay, gotta rework this part as well. I wanna get him on the powered rails for this final, like, section. Um, can I? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect-ish. Um. Oh, that is actually that is actually phenomenal. Oh my god, that is actually amazing. And now we pop this here. Oh my god, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it before nighttime arrives. And oh my god, here he goes, here he goes, off he goes. But yeah, there's a bunch of new stuff coming out at 1.20. This may be the last episode filmed on 1.19. I'm going to wait for Optifine to update, and obviously that will kind of depend um, on, uh, you know, <laughs> that team. But this may be one of the last few episodes on the 1.19 before we get into 1.20 content, which I think is nice because it naturally gives me more content to work with. <laughs> um, anyway, and that's these people done, so, um, bye. <laughs> Just imprison the last lot of people for the final time. And that is it. So now, the cleanup can begin. Although... Well, I'm going to do a little bit, and then I'm going to go quickly harvest that farm over there, because look, that farm is on my mind more than it ever should be. I've got a case of farm fever. You know, I'm, it's like I'm on Facebook in the 2010s, inviting all my friends to play Farmville. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that bad of a game, but, you know, Restaurant City was a better Facebook game, in my opinion. Anyway, back onto the topic most of you are probably familiar with. Um, yeah, no, I just want to farm farm, because I like me emeralds. What can I say? Um, yeah, it's this way. 
Mm, yeah, quick pet stop on something. Yeah, we, we will have some at some point soon. Nah, it's my melons and pumpkins. They're like my real money makers. It's like I I, fa I fell in love with the concept, and you can tell because it happens Skyblock and two different series of Minecraft Hardcore. I like my melons and I like my pumpkins. I'd say I'm more the melon man than the pumpkin man though, because God, I haven't collected the melons on Skyblock for a while. I might record a Skyblock video at some point soon. <laughs> Drag my out of retirement. It's like nah. You can retire again when you film the hardcore video, Wyatt. <laughs> oh. He secretly enjoys uh, recording Skybook videos, I swear. I, I don't like to keep him locked in my basement forcibly or anything. I, I swear, I swear, I swear, FBI, he wants to be here. <laughs> um, convincing? No, I'll work on it. <laughs> anyway, that's everything down here. Um, I'm, that's what I'll do for this, I don't know. I kind of want to like completely remove it, but also I, would, I wouldn't... Okay, there's plenty of full amounts of sand. You know what? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, fuck off. Um, let's remove this. Because then the beach looks more beachy. It looks, dare I say, pleasant. Like a park. <laughs> oh, the Fortnite jokes, they just keep on coming, don't they? But um, that signals the end of that little mini village, I suppose. Like, no more Angolms should spawn around here now, and trust me, we'll get to you in due time if you dare mess with my spawn rates. Um, unfortunately for us, we're pretty much almost out um, done with the um, outdoor section of minecart we've got to pack up, which, um, you know, is nice. It's always nice to uh, not be outside in hardcore in the evenings. Um, although, that doesn't remind me, I still need to build the second part of that bridge. You know, it's, it's very impressive. I built that, was very proud of it, and I just didn't build the second part of it because I got that sidetracked. The things that happen in this series. All right, anyway. Oh, again, thank you, Update Aquatic. Like, I disagree with most of the changes that um, Update made to the game. However, making items float in water is absolutely the right call, and I would, I, I genuinely want to firmly shake the hand if whoever suggested that change because, oh my god, you would have kept me sane. Either way, um, with this done, though, okay, you're gonna... Oh, we can put a door back down. Don't have my door on me, but you know we could. Okay, can I? Well, can I just mine in peace, and even maybe craft? Yes, yes, I'm aware. Yes, no, fuck you. I'm sorry. I want my rails in my house. Be gone, intruder. Yeah, no, we'll have the door. Throw that back, and I think isn't that pretty much the entirety of the cleanup effort, to my knowledge? And um, was there a red so? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stand your ground laws. And I'm not even American, yo. God. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking if we go through the door back when... Oh, there was some sand we needed to balance on top of that, actually. Yes, I think. Going in... Oh. Oops. <laughs> hello, cat. No! My, my pickaxe is too good. It's, like, destroying my shit. No. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you didn't have to, like, fuck, you know, faff on with villagers the whole episode. You just sat there looking content. As he should. Uh, anyway, we'll throw... Am I missing a minecart? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just missing my eyesight. Um, okay, so we need wood. Uh, where's my door? I know it was a door. There are you. Okay, again, I think my eyesight's just going at this point. It's like a nice documentary of how my eyesight just fleets from me throughout the series. Anyway, yeah, I'm thinking we fill in that hole. We uh, put our door back, bounce the sand back on top of it like we've done previously. And I think as far as it goes, the only thing we've got left to do is cram... Um, some zombies into what it, which is like it's not the biggest task in the world is it yeah so okay of course there's bloody skeletons why wouldn't there be can i do this entirely without incurring your wrath better yet can i push you into the ocean and like sentence you no okay no you want to be you want to play like that you want to be you want to be smart with me smart guy okay i see how it is Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, you're gonna die alone, you're gonna die alone, this is your hole, when the sun comes up, you're gonna die slowly, fuck you. You know what? Hmm, will the sun come up before this recording naturally ends? Am I that petty? Oh, I'm not that petty, but I am petty enough to still have a bed on me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, there's like five different layers of which this is fucked, and you can definitely call it a violation of the Geneva Convention, but this is what you get. You get what you fucking deserve. And a slap. Maybe two. Nah ah, nah ah 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 ah, ha ha. Rest in shit. Anyway, um, so I think. Oh. 
You have a fishing rod. I've not seen that before. Remarkable. Um, hmm. Do we harvest this for the outro? I think we do. Be, be nice and novel, won't it? Ugh. Also means I actually have to interact. Oh, but oh, the... the Look, I, I was going to do it, I was going to do it, and I still will, but oh my god, these pumpkins. Can you see where they're my money maker? They grow so quick. They grow so quick. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right, I'm going to throw this in. We are going to make a bank next episode when we cash that in. Likewise with this, honestly. Um, okay, and then we'll go. Hmm. Okay, we'll harvest, one, like, the whole of each section and then go replant later, I think. Is that... Just so I don't have to bother with the um, the bloody corner saga again, figuring out what corner ha should have what in. You know, not drive myself insane again. You know, uh, peace and serenity and all that jazz. Anyway, do a bit of this. Go plant that back. Ah, like I can practically hear the money coming in. Um, I think the song we can actually sell beetroot to. Or is it that carrots? Yeah. Either way, I know. The one thing I know for certain, we can sell wheat, which is always a... Uh... Oh, I swear I threw that out, but you know, mm, mm. guess I had, guess I had two stacks of beetroot seeds, which um, honestly shouldn't surprise me, but you know, as we've discussed, things that should surprise me and things that do are two very different things. Uh, I wish I could give an example, but honestly, um, I'm not even surprised that I can't give one because that is entirely on brand for me to do. But just know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like a perfect perfect example presents itself immediately after it being mentioned. Can't say I'm surprised. Or can I? <laughs> oh, right. Anyway. Oh, man. Okay, this beetroot, this, not beetroot, like these carrots, they are printing. Then, of course, we just got to do you. Nice, uh, nice little uh, middle island. Just get rid of it. Except the one that was still growing. I see you. See, I got, I got your back. Don't worry about it. Then replant this. And, oh, I can just, I can hear the money trickling in next episode. I genuinely can. It's like, like this? This is just pure profit at this point. <laughs> like, oh. Like, the amount of emeralds we're going to end up getting from this farm in the long term, like, it will be so substantial. And um, I will be so happy with myself for setting this up, because not to say the old farm was bad. I think the old farm still serves a purpose. It, it's aesthetic, it's close to home, it's nice. But something about this specifically being just, you know, an industrial... Oh, I accidentally minimized OBS. Yes, okay, we're still recording, we're good. But it's like, this is practically just an industrial operation. It's not even that big. Uh, actually, oh, do we have space? We do not have space, but also... don't have space to bring our ship back. Guess we'll have to make it two trips. Or, or, me, or my silly small brain, if it would decide to work. I'm just gonna quickly do a, and like, I'm sorry, there's three of you already. This is silly. This is goofy. This is partly just feels off for it to go this well for me. But what we can do is uh, grab all our melon pieces. Then if we were to just hypothetically search melon and just, well, would you look at that? All of a sudden, it all fits in. So join us next time while we're going to sell this. And oh, I guarantee we are going to be very, very rich by the end of that uh, mini bit. And then, maybe we'll be just partly trying to see what 1.20 has to offer. Or, I mean, I, I doubt it'll be a full exploration episode. I want to get my iron farm done first in case I die on the way. But I am very much interested in the new cherry biome, so uh, expect at some point in like the next 10 episodes for me to go out looking for that. Will we find it? Who knows? But mm, with all the iron we get, it is not out of the question that after we build the gold farm as well, we may just, you know, <laughs> oh, what, what, what did we call um, we may very well just build a railway to the nearest cherry biome. You know, just because it's nice. It's cool like that. Anyone else is cool? Oh, this farm. Yeah, you, you think it's been made redundant? Nah, it's like a pleasant surprise of like minimal results whenever I do pop by. Lovely. Uh, but I'm going to end this one here. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. Let's know if you want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And until next time, we'll set it all aside. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek, and peace out.